The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light? Sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. Um, doctor, um, yeah, so you mentioned um, that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created more than one Adam, yeah? That's quite shocking because that's not very known. Um, I've haven't, to be honest, I haven't heard that before, and I'm, I'm, on, I'm very <coughs> curious as to the wisdom behind this, and also, um, did everyone have their own series of prophets, or did we share prophets? How the, how did it, how does it work according to your research? What have you learned? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala Muhammad wa alihi taibiyan tahari. Yes, as I mentioned in the uh, earlier on, um, we, Allah, we have hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created uh, um, more than one Adam and of course uh, more than one world. Uh, in the same way that we have Adam who descended to earth and um, a, he um, if you like, procreation started and we have, uh, today we have billions of um, Bani Adam, sons of Adam, um, uh, uh, living on the planet Earth. We had something similar um, in various other worlds, various other planets, if you like. In the same universe. I, I, does I the hadith I, I, clarify? I, 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 no, I can't tell you if it's okay. in the same universe. Okay. It's probably in a different universe, uh, various other universes. Um, and uh, or it could be in the same universe. I don't know. Um, the hadith doesn't specify that. Oh, but Allah. yes, we the, the, there are various hadiths giving various numbers. The highest number that I have come across um, is um, elf, elf, a thousand, thousand world, and a thousand, thousand, thousand Adam, and um, we are the last of the worlds. And our Adam is the last of the Adams, if you like, that uh, uh, existed before us. Or at least our world is the last. It, it doesn't mean that, my understanding, it doesn't mean that there's absolutely no Adam left. So, so some, some may exist, some may have no... Our world, this current world, apparently is the last. And how long is it going to last? Allah. How many centuries, thousands of years, and so on we have left? Um, uh, I don't know, but it's if you like if on the last step of the of the of the, all these of atoms and and of of, of all these worlds, al hmm. awalim, uh, if you like. Um, so yes, we we've had that. It's not it's not known. Not many people know about this, um, but it is there. And um, uh, you need to think about it and see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't only create us, yes. but He created others. But of course, on, on, the, on the question of uh, the prophets and so on, again, in the same hadith, the Imam says, uh, Allah created a thousand, thousand Adam and thousand, thousand Alam world. Um, it says, وَأَنَا حُجَّةِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِمْ SubhanAllah. So that means that Ahlul Bayt and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are the the main point of guidance Ascent. for all the worlds. Yes. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ So we, we, we sent that, you, we sent you as a mercy to the worlds. Yes. Plural. Um, so it isn't just our world. There are various other worlds, um, and because there are various various other other means, and as the hadith says. Uh, 
I am Allah's authority, just as He is the Hujjah, mm. He is the Allah's authority mm, on this planet and on on us, if you like, on mankind mm. on the, on living on this planet. He is also the author, Allah's authority on various other um, creatures uh, and and Adamiyin, the descendants of the respected Adams in their respected worlds. Subhanallah, that's. Uh that's a lot to swallow, to be honest with you, Doctor. Yes, you need to sort of yeah, reflect on that's, it, that's contemplate quite, it. So basically um, everything that we thought that might, for example, like extraterrestrial life outside the world, that is possible, that, that it's not just fantasy, yeah. but it might not be how they, they try to um, show it to us through um, mainstream media or Hollywood, for example. Of course, I mean, they, I don't know how... Probably if they start reading these hadiths, they probably have a better understanding, better idea. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, or probably they even have, and they've got, when they come and sort of think about ET yeah. and um, alien lives and so on. But um, certainly we have this. Uh, the Prophet and the Masumin, alayhi salam, some 14 centuries ago, did mention that. Uh, and we have it in, in, our, in, in our records, in our um, uh, reference works. And uh, we should mention that. But the, the important thing is that they are the authority, as you said. They are, um, uh, they provide guidance for all, all the worlds, and all the, if you like, uh, creatures. Um, I shouldn't use cr the word creature. I should use, if you like, the, the, the term that is used by the Imam, the Adamiyin, the Adams, or the descendants of their, their respected Adams. Uh, so yes, they are the guide. Uh, for not just the people on earth, it's for, for, for people on other planets and other worlds. Was the Holy Prophet وسلم, and the Ahl Bayt, did they visit these worlds? Did they proclaim the message or, uh, in person? Or were they informed that they, they were the leaders but they belonged to this world? Are we, for example, let's say blessed and honored that uh, the, the Holy Prophet and Ahl Bayt lived only on this earth, so they're part of our group of Adam, or do we share them? Uh, we have hadith that they, yes, they visited them too. SubhanAllah. So, um, and that means they needed to travel faster than the speed of light. Like because the if they, for example, of the Holy like the Prophet Mahraj, Because if they want to travel Given, the, if you like, our galaxy, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. our universe, which is something like 13 billion light years long or width. Um, so um, even the travel, uh, travel at the speed of light will, will be nowhere near enough. Mm -hmm. And therefore, like Mi'raj, they had um, other means, um, if, if the term is correct, other means to travel. Mm. Um, Ahlul Bayt Airways. <laughs> and um, special, we, special yes, transport. we do have that. That uh, the, uh, for example, Imam Sadiq alayhi uh, salam, he specifically says that I go and visit them while you're sitting there. I go and visit them and come back. Subhanallah. That that we, we've we've seen it through a lot of our holy imams that they can be uh, um, multiple locations at the same time. That's right. Like for example, Zainul Abidin alayhi salam. That's right. He was uh, in Sham. And he was also in Karbala That's right. to prepare the burial for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Well, in Kufa and Karbala, yes. Kufa. Kufa and Karbala. They were Kufa. in Kufa because it was, they, they still hadn't arrived. But yes, there is that. But oh. can I just say that, I mean, we, we're going to sideways, but we have even the um, um, Ashab Imam Ali alayhi salam, the devotees, the companions who are really de devout, uh, if you like Muslims and uh, devout Shia and adherent to the teachings of Imam Ali alayhi salam. I think one of them is Hujair, uh, Rushayd al-Hajari, I think it's one of them. Um, he, uh, he could be at different places at the same time. He was taught by Imam Ali He was taught by Imam Ali. And he's not a ma'asum. So that means that every human being has the yes. ability to reach that level. You you have the uh, he he is not muscle, of course. But it comes and, and down probably to he Iman, is not. Though. He is he is he probably he hasn't even attained the station of mm. the status of people like uh, Salman, Salman al-Muhammadi, 
سلمان المحمدي سيما سلمان الفارسي إذا بروفيس سيد دون كولب سلمان الفارسي كولب سلمان المحمدي كوز هيز وانو باسيز هاس رايت يس and or Abu Dhar and various other people. So uh, probably this individual is not, um, has not attained the status which Salman had and yet he, ha he could do things like this. So uh, these things um, which we think, oh, if the Imam does it, that's great, but it's even the non-Masum, ordinary folks who are devout followers, devout Shia of Imam Ali السلام, they could do things like this. Let alone the Imam. So the Imam is far beyond uh, that Allah. status. But yes, yes, we have hadith that the Imam um, visited in person the other worlds okay. and the other people um, of those worlds. I want to go back, Doctor. Um, while Ahlul Bayt are still in the heavens with Malaika, uh, I'm not sure where. Where, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts creating the atoms, but while they're in the heavens, before they're manifested in dunya, what were they, what was they doing in heavens? Just if, if we have any information regarding their existence and their role in the heavens before coming to dunya. Um, so we said that they taught the angels. Okay. Other than teaching the angels, is there anything else they did? Did, did they have lives? Were they just a, a, a nur? Did they have a, a physical body or no? While they were nur, they didn't have physical body. No, no. physical body. Uh, so they the acquired term, the physical body when they came to dunya? Um, the Prophet says, when Allah created Adam, Allah placed my nur in the loin of Adam salam, and that nur was transferred from uh, um, one prophet to another, if you like. Uh, we have uh, that the, the ancestors of uh, the Prophet ﷺ, they were all, all Muslims, and there was some other s statement made which indicate that they were all either prophets or yani Nabi or Wasi, a prophet or an appointed uh, um, successor to a prophet. Uh, 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 an appointed wasi, if you like. Uh, so we have that. Uh, so yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa says, uh, placed my nur, uh, in my light, if you like, in the, in the loin of Adam and transferred from uh, one ta'ahir uh, to uh, another. That is the uh, <coughs> important thing, is that in, in the um, uh, um, Ancestry of the Prophet sallallahu uh, alaihi wa The Prophet specifically says that they were no, they were all tahir, they were all pure. There were no um, impurity in terms of uh, um, sifah instead of nikah. There was always nikah there and transferred from one one line to another until it reached Abdul Muttalib and Abdullah, and then uh, it split between. Um, uh, sorry, it, it reached Abdul Muttalib and then it split between. Uh, Abdullah and Abu Talib alayhi salam. Okay, when the the light of uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, went to Abu Talib's, and the light of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi went uh, to Abdullah alayhi salam. Mashallah. So, okay. Um, so I it's then that they create. They start having, if you like, a, a bodily form. Uh, until then, they were, if you like. Um, it says ashbah or arwah or light. So they didn't have the physical body that, uh, as we know it. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Holy Quran with regards to the creation of uh, Nabi Adam alayhi salam, he says that he created him with his own hands. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you, earlier you did mention that uh, s certain things can be said, but the, they can't be taken literal. Mm. And obviously, um, well, obvious for some, but we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have a body because he's not limited by this. And, and his, his existence is beyond anything we can uh, imagine or think. Mm. So by him mentioning that he created uh, Nabi Adam with his own hands, what does that mean? 
because it cannot be taken literal. What? How can it be taken if it's taken metaphoric? Mm. What is the meaning for it? What does it actually mean? Uh, it's yes, as as you mentioned, it's, um, it's we don't take it literally. It's metaphoric. Um, it's a speech of uh, uh, figure of speech, if you like. And um, okay, figure of speech. Uh, um, we have. In, it's in the in the in the um, Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Who is the one who gave you the book? From him are the laws and the commandments. They are the same as the laws and the We have ayat in the Quran. We have verses in the Quran which are definitive, and we have Allah Subhanahu wa says, and there are ayat in the Quran which are definitive, which are they are the mother of the book, if you like the foundation of the thing. And there are verses in the Quran, ayat in the Quran, which are um, uh, um, um, figurative, if you like, or um, ambiguous. Okay, I would like to use this word ambiguous. Mutashabihat is probably that's the best translation for the word mutashabihat. Ambiguous. Ambiguous so, meaning, sorry. Me, it, it could have different meanings. Different meanings, okay. Okay, sometimes you have something which is definitive, it's very clear, or unambiguous, and sometimes you have something which is a little bit ambiguous. This is specifically, it's made to be like that. Okay, uh, and the rest it says, "فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبٍ زِيغٌ فَيَتَبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهُ مِنْهُ بِتَغَالِ الْفِتْنَةِ وَبِتَغَالِ التَّأْوِيلِ." Those who have um, deviation in their hearts, they seek to try to, to seek the ambiguous, to try to rely on the ambiguous ones. Yes, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says He created Adam with His hands, with His ability, with His power, if you like. Sorry, power, um, and that is meant. It's not meant. To be really, he has hands like we have. Uh, as was mentioned earlier on, alluded to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is laysa kemislihi shay. We cannot begin to try to imagine. We cannot begin to try to imagine what is Allah like. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever. That what, sentence says. Whatever, whatever we, whatever you imagine, if you sit down and spend a, 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 group, of, a group of you, 10 people, 100 people, whatever, millions of people sit down and try to imagine whatever they imagine, that's creation of your of your own mind. Imagination, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. So whatever you have imagined by Allah is your creation and it's not Allah. Mm. We have a hadith from Imam Bakr alayhi salam. Whatever you create, whatever you imagine about Allah, about the nature of Allah, it's your imagination. It's your creation. So if it's your creation, then it cannot be Allah. And Allah has put it in a very clear way. There is nothing like his example. So yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is laysa kemitli shay. There is nothing which is uh, we, uh, uh, that we can think of which can be resemble uh, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when he used metaphoric terms like yad or ayn, eye or, or hand, uh, it's or that is, it's metaphoric and it's, um, uh, it's a figure of speech. It's meant to be show, to say like it's his power. With his, with his power, he created Adam. MashaAllah. It's a lot to uh, absorb. Well, you're, you, you, you started this journey, so you, yeah. you, you have to. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Because uh, I want to I wanna, I wanna reach the point where uh, I could uh, have a, a, I could feel that I have a complete understanding. Of, well, that's going to be a, a very long journey. Inshallah, well, uh, hopefully we can re reach there. So, whatever you have imagined by Allah is your creation, and it's not Allah. We have a hadith from Imam Bakr alayhi salam. Whatever you create, whatever you imagine about Allah, about the nature of Allah, it's your imagination. It's your creation. So, if it's your creation, then it cannot be Allah. And Allah has put it in a very clear way. There is nothing like his example. And when he used metaphoric terms like yad or ayn, eye or, or hand, uh, it's or, uh, that's it. It's metaphoric and it's, um, uh, it's a figure of speech. It's meant to be sure to say like it's his power. With his, with his power, he created Adam. Thank you.